Hello and welcome to another video and in this video I'm going to be making a tank cage for a window cleaning tank. In the past I've always strapped down my tanks uh, and never had any problem with it all. We were actually in an accident once and the tank was strapped down and it didn't move an inch uh, but for the ambulance uh, I'm going to actually make a cage for it and there's three reasons for that. The first reason is that there's no tie down points in the ambulance and rather than putting tie down points in I thought uh, it would be better off actually building a cage and bolting it to the floor. The second reason is because I'm putting two tanks in and they're both upright tanks. I've always used flat tanks in the past but these will be two upright tanks. So this is a 250 litre one that I've bought and it came with a cage on it that comes from um, a well-known supplier in the area. Upright tanks are a lot more unstable, being a lot more top heavy, got a higher centre of gravity. So I've decided to uh, build a tank frame and bolt it to the floor. The third reason is, as I said, this one came, I bought it second hand off a window cleaner and he bought it with the frame from a supplier. And when seeing how easy it was to actually make this, I decided I'd have a go, make one myself. So I'm putting two tanks in, as I said, I'm putting the 250 litre tank in as a window cleaning tank and I've got a 400 litre tank which I'm going to put in as a buffer tank for the pressure washing. So I'll put links to everything I use in the description below the video. Um, I'm not sponsored by the company I use to get the, the Unistruth from and all the brackets and everything. Not sponsored by them in any way but I find them really good, very effective, you know, very quick delivery always get exactly what you need so uh, I'll put the links to them in the video so let's get on and make this tank so as you can see the tank is all made out of what's called unistrut or strut channel this is 41 millimeter strut channel uh, and it's ever so easy to work with um, it just bolts together it's like a big Meccano set it's actually what I made in same bolt out of so with it being so easy to make, I've ordered it all up. So to start with, I'm gonna make the frame that goes around the bottom of the tank. Before you start, it's always worth just double checking that your frame is the same size as uh, that it says in the advert, because you don't wanna cut up a load of metal and find out it was actually a little bit bigger than, uh, than it stated and it doesn't fit. So I'll go and measure the tank and then I'll cut up the steel, the Unistrut to, uh, to build the frame that goes around the bottom. So the width of the tank is one meter and 30 millimeters. So I'm giving myself an extra five meters on that. Uh, so one meter and 35 millimeters. So I bought an evolution saw, which is supposed to be able to cut metal. Um, I don't know how good it's gonna be yet because I haven't tried one before. And uh, if, you can't, if you haven't got one of these or no means of cutting it, you can always get an angle grinder and cut it down with an angle grinder with a metal cutting blade on it. So I've got my safety glasses. Uh, they look like sunglasses, but they are actually safety glasses. And I'll get these from M Store. Uh, and there's a, I've got a discount code for those. So I'll put that in the description below as well. So we'll cut this and see how this new saw goes. actually cut really nicely, nice square cut, cut really well, threw out a few uh, hot, hot bits here and there, but apart from that, cut really well. So I'll cut another one of these and then we'll make the two sides for the bottom of it. So for the braces that go across the bottom, uh, you've got to add the length, the width of two pieces of Unistrut, which is, I think, 82 mil. Just double check that. I think they're 41 mil Unistrut. Yeah. So I had 82 mil, and my width was 500 mil. So giving it five me. So it's 500 mil. I'm going to give it five mil tolerance, and I'm going to add 82 mil onto that. 
so that's 587 mil. Now these will all be different. Um, I'll put what Unistrut I've used and all the brackets and things I've used, but I won't put the lengths in because it, all the tanks are different. So if you're making your own, you'd have to work out your own lengths. So, but mine is 587 mil. Perfect. And another one exactly the same length as that. I'm going to keep all your cuts nice and square if you can and it'll hold together much better. So to bolt the base frame together I'm just using a flat angle plate, uh, so a 90 degree angle and I'm using 10 mil bolts. These are called Zebedis by some people, I don't know what the proper name for them are. Uh, they've got a little spring in, these are for actually for the, the narrower channel than this, but they will still work. Uh, these are for the narrower channel. These just slot into the, into the channel uh, and the spring just holds them in place while you bolt it up. So we'll bolt this all into place on all four sides and then we'll make the next bit. So just before you tighten it all up properly, you're probably best checking that it's square. And to do this, the easiest way is to measure across the corners. Uh, and if you measure across the corners, then it, if it is square, it should be exactly the same. And then once you know it is square, you can tighten them up. So I've measured the uprights up and I need four pieces now at 890 millimeters. I've also got the two bars to go across the top and they're the same width as the two bars that went across the bottom. So I need another uh, Two pieces at 587. So this one I've got here, I've got one 8, 890 and I've got one 587. It's just leaving me a little bit of an off cut in the middle. So we'll get these cut. So now we've got it all cut, all we need to do is bolt it all together. Now the uprights go on with these winged brackets here, bolt onto there and then they bolt on to the bottom of there, like so. So we'll get all that bolted up. So now we've got the uprights done, we just need to put the braces across the top. Uh, these are just held on with a 90 degree angle, the bolts on like that. So you just need to space it out to make sure you've got it all spaced evenly. Something you've got to watch for is your filler cap. You've got to make sure that your, your brace isn't across the top of your filler cap. So on the one that I bought, the uprights are actually offset because of the, the position of the filler cap. Uh, this one, I've been able to um, space them out quite equally. Uh, they're just on the high point there and they come up level with the other side of the baffle there. So I bolt all these on. So 
so now we've got all the tops on we've got it in position at the bottom we can tighten all the bolts at the bottom up now all that's left to do is to cut in our cap in just to fill in the holes which you don't actually need but uh, it just makes it look a bit nicer So all we've got to do now is snap the covers into place. So there we go, a homemade tank frame. Now this tank, I got it from Technet Tanks. Um, it was a bit cheaper than the others I spotted. Uh, still a good baffle tank, plenty strong enough. Uh, and it comes with the cap, it comes with three places where you can drill it to have outlets. Uh, now I'm not quite sure where I'm going to have the outlet set up on this yet, I'm still not 100% sure on my configuration. So I'm not going to drill any of those until I am sure of that. Uh, what you might need to do is, like on the other one, where to get it right down below you can see just there it's sticking down well it's drilled out just below the, the unistrut you might just need to cut a bit of a, a channel out for your outlet to come out from now I'm not going to bolt this down myself I'm going to take it to the mechanic and get all my um, tanks bolted down by the mechanics he's got a he's got a ramp so he can get it up and get underneath it easily to to bolt it down and it's much easier than me drilling it and trying to scrabble underneath it on the side of the road to bolt it in so I'll get the mechanic to do that but this by doing it this way you're saving these come out at about 190 pound plus VAT if you buy them uh, you're saving about 100 pound by making it yourself and you can easily do it in a couple of hours uh, if you did want to buy one of these then the cleaning warehouse sell these at Will and All um, I'll put the link to those below and the link to the frames. I think they do them for a 250, a 350 and a 500. Uh, but if you've got something different, uh, it's always worth giving them a ring and asking them. So I hope you found this useful. If you have, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.